Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back today with another alternative card using the latest paper pumpkin kit, the July 2020 Summer Nights Kit. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I made this quick and easy pocket card. I hope you'll stick around and see how I made it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The latest paper pumpkin kit arrived the other day, the July 2020 Summer Nights Kit, so I will be sharing some alternatives over the next few days. In yesterday's video, I showed you how I made these two slimline alternatives. I will link this video below if you want to check it out. For today's video, I'm going to be using the paper bag from the kit to make a little tuck spot on a postcard. Other items I'll be using from the kit are the firework or the starburst from the stamp set and the longer sentiment. I grabbed out kind of the green to blue postcard that comes with the kit and I will be using the Blackberry Bliss ink. For this card there are a few non-kit items but you probably have something in your stash that's similar so you can follow along. I may use my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper, not 100% sure on this. I got out a pair of small scallop decorative scissors, yes you can still use those decorative scissors. I pre-cut a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock for the back of my other pieces. I got out one of my favorite die sets, the Hero Art Infinity dies in rectangle, and I will be using the sixth from the largest for today's card. If I add anything else as I go along, I will be sure to let you know, but once I start the process, I will go to a voiceover, so if I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! The first thing I did for this card was cut down my bag to a size that would give me a nice, even border around it on the card front. I decided that I wanted to cut the bag to four and three quarters inches tall, so I used my T ruler to mark a couple spots at four and three quarters, and then I used it to make a light line across the bag. Once I had that line on there, I got out my mini scallop scissors, and I made sure that when I cut that the scallops, the rounded part, would go at the top. So I cut along that line, trying to make sure that I kept lining up those little scallops, and then you'll see it just leaves a nice border at the top. Because you could still see the pencil marks, I got out my white eraser and I just gently erased those away. Next, I wanted to do some stamping on the bag itself. I will be using the sentiment and I ink that up with the stampin' spot from the kit and I place it in the lower right corner of the bag. It was almost like the bag was meant to have this there, it fits so perfectly. Once I had the sentiment down, I got out the other stamp that I'll be using. I don't know if it's a firework or a starburst, I call it both. And I wanted that to be a little bit lighter. So just like on yesterday's card, after I ink it up, I stamp it off twice on that scrap of white paper and then bring it over to my bag. Now you might be wondering why I am rounding the corners on a postcard that already has round edges. That is because my corner chomper makes a different size rounded corner than was on the postcards. And I want my card background, which you'll see me cut here in just a little bit, and the inner tag, or what I'm gonna put my personalized message on, to have the same rounded corners. So I did go ahead and round the corners of this postcard before getting out my die cutting machine. 
I'm going to be using that Hero Arts Infinity die that I showed you earlier to cut the center out of this postcard. Now the reason I'm doing this is that will eventually be covered up by the bag. So this is a great way to get an inner card for my bag without having to use another one of the cards from the kit. To hold that die in place, I got out a couple scraps of my Scotch Blue removable tape. You know I love this stuff and I can use it over and over again. I placed that on the frame so it would cut out the center of the card and I ran that through my die cutter. You can see here when I pull the tape from the paper it doesn't ruin it in any way and I just set that right to the side of me on the shelf so I have it for the next time I need to do some die cutting. I got back out my corner chomper and once again used that quarter inch side on the white cardstock backer and on the inner die that I just cut out. Once all of the corners were rounded, I put some adhesive on the white cardstock. Now you might wonder why I'm not putting it on the frame, and I have tried this in the past, and the frame usually seems to fold or tear, or it's harder to place down onto the backer. So by putting the adhesive down on the white piece of cardstock, it just made that a little bit easier. Next, I pulled in the bag, and I'm not sure I needed to do it, but I went ahead and put some adhesive under that back flap, and then I put adhesive all the way around the edges, and then some more along the center. I just wanna make sure, since that background is a little uneven, that there was a lot of adhesive on there. Once I had that glued down, I made sure that my note card would fit nicely inside. I realized at this point that the recipient might not even realize there was something in there to take out, so I wanted to figure out a way to make that more obvious and to help the person get it out of the bag easier. That is when I decided to pull in my one and a quarter inch circle punch. I punched a circle from a scrap of white cardstock and then folded that in half. I wanted to add a hole and some twine to the top of my inner card and I thought this white cardstock would kind of act as a hole reinforcer and just add something different to the card itself. So I added adhesive to the circle and I folded it around the top of the card. Once that was adhered in place, I brought in my We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile and punched a hole right in the top center. And you'll see there I had to wrestle with it a little bit to get it off the card. I think it had something to do with two layers of adhesive that it had to punch through. I pulled in the navy twine from the kit and I cut myself probably seven inches or so. I folded that in half and then I fed it through the hole in the card. Once I had that kind of looped back through itself like a luggage tag, I put a knot in the top and I cut off the excess string above the knot. I wanted to make sure this fit back in the bag and would be easy to pull out so I tested that out and it worked very nicely. If you've been watching me for very long, you know that I don't usually finish a card until there's a little sparkle or bling on it. So I pulled in the adhesive stars from the kit and some clear gems from my stash. I placed one of the stars in the center of the die cut firework, and then I placed three of the larger gems from my sheet around the bag in the center of the ones that I had stamped. Here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made this quick and easy card today. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye.
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.